Now, the Royal Navy is to send a frigate to the North Sea after the suspected sabotage of the Nord Stream pipeline in the Baltic. European nations believe the damage was caused by a deliberate attack with Russia, strongly suspected of being behind it. The ship, likely to be the HMS Somerset, will patrol the sea, protecting underwater infrastructure. Now, the billionaire Elon Musk has been widely criticised for tweeting a plan for peace in Ukraine. He wrote on Twitter, there could be a redo of elections under UN supervision in the four annexed areas of eastern Ukraine, adding that Russia leaves if that is the will of the people. He also suggested that Crimea could formally become a part of Russia. Well, his tweets were immediately criticised by Ukraine's president, Vladimir Zelensky, who responded with his own poll, there it is, in which he asked, which Elon Musk do you like more, the one who supports Ukraine or the one who supports Russia? Well, Musk tweeted again, backtracking, saying, I still very much support Ukraine, but I'm convinced that massive escalation of the war will cause great harm to Ukraine and possibly the world. Peace plans by Tweet, eh? Ukrainian troops have broken through Russian positions near Kherson, a strategic city in the part of the south of Ukraine uh, that was annexed by Moscow supposedly last week. The advance was reported by the Russian military who say there is heavy Russian defensive fire. Well, our correspondent Hugo Bachega joins us now live from Kiev this morning. Morning, Hugo. How significant is this for Ukraine? Morning, Sally. It is very significant. This is the most significant breakthrough for the Ukrainians uh, since the start of their counteroffensive in the south of the country. For weeks, we've been watching developments in Kherson, heavy fighting there, but almost no movement. So, in the last few days, uh, Ukrainian forces have managed to advance along the Dnipro River. This is a significant river that uh, works as a natural barrier in that part of the Kherson region, and they have managed to uh, recapture several uh, villages along that river. And this Ukrainian progress uh, threatens uh, supply lines for thousands of Russian troops position in that part of the country. So it is very significant for the Ukrainians. Now, this is what is happening in the south. Uh, in the east, the Ukrainians are going ahead with the counteroffensive. They are now uh, reinforcing their positions after reclaiming the key town of Liman, a major logistics and transport hub in the Donetsk uh, region. And now it seems that they're now moving towards the Luhansk uh, regions. The Ukrainians have been silent about the latest developments. Uh, President Zelensky last night said heavy fighting was happening in in many parts of the front line. But these advances happen in regions, President Putin says, Russia is annexing. So very important uh, gains for the Ukrainians in several parts of the country.